Tonight, the Tribal Chief himself, the current WWE Undisputed Universal Champion, which again, I'm not happy about that name because if there's a World's Heavyweight Champion on Monday Night Raw, you can't be undisputed on SmackDown. As simple as that. But then again, you know, it's WWE, it's their own world, their own rules. But with that said, Roman Reigns has a lot of fall cleaning to do because he's been gone for almost two months at this point. I think... I believe the last time we saw him on SmackDown was about a week, two weeks after SummerSlam, after he retained his championship against his cousin, main event Jay Uso. So it's been a while. A lot, of, a lot has happened since that date. And with that said, let's talk about all the factors that come into play for tonight's episode of SmackDown, for tonight's Tribal Chief return. Number one, Fastlane. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso lost to John Cena and L.A. Knight. Yeah, in a tag team match. And of course, Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief himself, Paul Heyman, the wise man, was not happy about that. And there have to be consequences to pay. Number two. Not only did main event Jey Uso quit the bluff line, he quit SmackDown, but his arch rival Roman Reigns, one of Roman Reigns' arch rivals, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, brought main event Jey Uso back to WWE, and he brought him back to Monday Night Raw. And not only that, they're currently the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. Gold that used to be completely in the bloodline. Is now held by a former member of the Bloodline and his opponent and former arch rival Cody Rhodes, current arch rival Cody Rhodes. So again, he has to deal with that. And on top of that, Jey Uso can appear, rightfully so, on SmackDown tonight because as undisputed tag team champion, he can go anywhere he wants to as long as it's with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and tag team titles are involved and whatnot. And finally, he has to deal with the fact that his for all intents and purposes, has been kicked out of the bloodline. But that hasn't been completely confirmed and all. Well, he's been betraying himself as a tribal chief. Well, could say mocking chief. He's been trying to weasel himself back into the stable, back into the group bloodline that he ousted himself from in the first place. So there's a lot of things Roman Reigns has to deal with just on based on those three factors right there. Solo and Jimmy's loss at Fastlane, main event Jay Uso tag team champion with Cody Rhodes, and Jimmy Uso's craziness and betrayal and mocking, quote unquote mocking of the tribal chief himself. But not only that, Crown Jewel is in November 4th. We're about two, three weeks away from that pay-per-view event in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia where Roman Reigns has to defend his universal championship against an opponent he named. And I've said it here, there's only three options for Reigns to face off against at Crown Jewel. Number one, and this is my top I would prefer, this is what I would book creative-wise to, to, to happen in the next few weeks. AJ Styles makes his return and the phenomenal one gets a shot Reigns in Crown Jewel. Much like he did in May against Seth Frick and Rollins, this time he gets a crack at the Universal title again in Saudi Arabia. That's what I want. That's what I would book. But there's an argument to be made that John Cena has been getting involved in a lot of bloodline business. Hell, he got into a scuffle this past Tuesday night against Solo Sikoa. So Cena, as long as he's part of WWE, as long as there's still this actor's strike in Hollywood, he's not returning to Hollywood until that's settled. So John Cena is going to be a part of WWE for the time being. Why not have, Why not run Cena versus Reigns one more time? At least in WWE's mind, and we just we, we already know they love to put fan favorite matches in Saudi Arabia, dream matches of sorts. Problem is, we already got this about a year and a half ago, to almost well, two years ago at SummerSlam. So. I don't think much has changed. I personally don't want to see Cena versus Reigns 3. I don't think there's much to it. And the third option, of course, is 
the megastar himself, L.A. Knight. Yeah. Does the megastar get a shot at Roman Reigns for his universal title in Saudi Arabia? And frankly, the only reason I don't want him to challenge Reigns at uh, Crown Jewel, because I would rather have him be in a prominent position at the Royal Rumble during WrestleMania season. I think that's a better timeline for L.A. Knight to head into the main event. Now, either way, if he challenges him at Crown Jewel or at the Royal Rumble, I don't think L.A. Knight is beating Reigns for the title. I don't think it's time to put that championship, put that kind of responsibility, ending Reigns' three-plus year reign as champion. I don't think it's time to... I don't think he's the, the, the perfect star for that. But at some point in the very near future, L.A. Knight does need to face off against Roman Reigns. So again, a lot going into the Knights... Tribal Chiefs return, and we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, uh, I'm expecting AJ Styles to return, challenge Reigns for the title. I'm expecting him to confront Jimmy Uso, bring him back into the bloodline, not with some drama and tension involved, of course. And frankly, I think he's gonna tell, he's gonna tell Solo Sokoa to handle John Cena, which would obviously be a better option than having Cena versus Reigns. Hell, have Cena lose to Solo Sokoa at Crown Jewel. You put over Solo Sokoa immensely by having him beat the former 16-time world champion, the former face that run the place. What else can you do? And then you have LA Knight beat Jimmy Uso at Crown Jewel in a singles match. Get him closer and closer to a title pay-per-view in January. So again, that's what I would do. That's, what, that's how I would book it uh, on tonight's episode of SmackDown. But again, we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see and... You know, it's going to be interesting because the Bloodline storyline, because Roman Reigns has been gone for so long, it's kind of cooled off for a bit. But tune in later on tonight to Fox for another episode of SmackDown, see what that see what that brings along. And with that said, tune in later on tonight to TNT for another episode of Rampage. We got Collision tomorrow on TBS. And then Bound for Glory is getting closer and closer. They got a hell of a stack card for that pay-per-view as well. So with that said, I'm Alexis Carrillo. This has been... I'll see you next time.